Hello my viewers and welcome to this lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can, you can customize the symbols for your levels. So the level, the symbol that you are seeing here has been customized. As you can see, this is not from the default, you know, template. If I select again on the level, then click on edit type, then under the symbols, you see that I can switch to other symbols that I've created. You see that if I click on apply, this is a different symbol, okay? In this lesson, you learn on how you can create any kind of a symbol as a custom symbol for your levels just in this lesson. If I go back once again, I click on the symbol there, go to number two, click on apply. You see that this is a different one and you learn on how you can create such symbols. Then the method that we are going to use in customizing these symbols for your levels can be used to create any kind of your, your custom symbol in your projects, okay? Now, I just want to ask you to make sure that if you like what I'm doing on this channel, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. And I also want to mention that if you want to learn Revit from start to finish, make sure that you check the links in the description. I have a course in Revit architecture and also Revit structure. Check it out, you might be interested. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I'll just start a new project, okay? I'll just go to file there and just go to new and click on project. You see from here, you are going to have, you know, this box here. Make sure that you go to, you can use any template, but I'm going to use a metric architectural template and click on. Okay, so this is the template that I've picked and you see that there's nothing here because we are under the floor plans. So to create your levels, okay, make sure that you go to any of the elevations and I'll start with the south elevation. Okay, as you can see, depending on the template that you, are, that you have, you may have a different symbol for your levels, okay, but whatever symbol that you have by default, you can customize it to you know, to any symbol of your, your, your choice, okay? So from here, I'll start by, you know, just showing you on how you can create the levels. Of course, this is for beginners, but just wait, you see on how you can customize these symbols, okay? So I'll go to architecture there, then click on level, okay? So to create a level, you see that we have make plan view. What this means is that if this one is ticked, then whatever you create here is going to appear under the plans, okay? If this one is not checked, it means that you see, for example, let me just deactivate that one, then create a level from this point to that point, okay? Then escape, you see that the color will be dark here. This is black color. This shows you that it's not appearing right here within the floor plans, okay? So let me go back to architecture, then click on level and just over my case are there and make sure that make plan view is ticked there. If I click the first point and the second point, you see that this one is blue in color, it's level four and you see that we have level four, but level three is not there. Okay. Now let me also show you one tip that you have to, you know, to, to, to look at, to change if you want uh, that particular level to appear here even after creating it okay so what you are going to do is you go to views this is the question that a lot of people ask to say that where is my you know my plan so make sure that you check the color it will be black once you check it there then go to plan views okay then we want this to appear under the the floor plans because we have one two and four we don't have three so go to uh floor plan and you see that that level will appear here the one which is not appearing under the project browser just click on okay you see that it's going to appear there level four. And if I go to any of the elevation views, you see that even the color will change. So you see that this is a good tip for all of you, for those who may not be aware. Okay. So now to, to, to just manipulate these levels before we go to the customization, you see that if I just select that level, I can, you know, specify the dimension there. If it's 3M for three meters, I can specify like that because I'm using millimeters in my template. If I want to change this one again to three meters from this one, I just select the top level and change from there. If I want another 3000 enter, you see that it's going to change and I can go ahead and change the top part. Maybe I want the 2.5. Okay, 2.5 M enter. So this is how you can, you know, you know, create your levels and, you know, specify the dimensions. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that once you click on the level, you can turn on 
and off you know that symbol there at the end you can also turn it on from the other side okay so you see that you can continue by doing that okay in that simple manner you're able to turn on the symbols for your levels okay the other thing is that if i just select on the level i can go to my edit type there and i can do that for everything if i just want to you know from the from there i can apply then i'm going to have the symbols on both sides for all the levels if i want to remove one i can apply there okay and let me select on one once again there symbol and one let me deactivate this one activate this one apply okay you see that it's going to to be removed just like that okay the other thing is that if you want to for example if i have a level like that let me simply drag it down here okay if maybe the spacing is is too small and you don't want this to overlap the symbols like that what you can do is to select you know that level any of the levels and you have a small symbol here which is called elbow okay add elbow once you click that little symbol there then you have an option to drag it okay let me select once again then you can simply drag it where is the what is the symbol i want to select oh actually you make sure that you drag it by the elbow okay so i can drag it like that you see that you are able to to move it up like that so i can do the same for this one select on it click that symbol for the elbow and you are even able to move it like that if you want that way you can clean up your view so that it's not overlapping so these are some of the tips for anyone of you who doesn't know how to manipulate you know your levels and now let's get started with the creation of the custom symbols for your for your levels now the first thing that i'll need to do is to select on that click on edit and go to that one there apply okay i want to have the symbols on both sides so that i can zoom in like that then i'll select on that then click on edit type i just want to know the symbol name this is the name that i want so that i can find it okay right here under the project browser okay so i'll just copy that symbol okay Control c and simply cancel it i just want to identify this one then i can click on any of these anything here within the project browser right click and just click on search i want to where is search okay search is right there then you can simply control v within there and click on next okay so you see that under the project browser the uh, the level head circle is right there this is the one that we have here so i'll cancel it now what you need to do i can drag like that right click and click on edit okay so once you click on edit you see that that is the symbol now the first thing for you is that you need to turn on you know the the the, the you need to turn on the visibility go to the visibility graphics by typing vg on your keyboard then go to annotation and turn on the reference planes okay click on that then click on apply okay so that you know where the line is touching the circle okay once the reference planes are activated then it's just a matter of now you know editing you know this symbol and the first one that will start with will start with the the just simple additions of some lines i can go to create you know line there then just zoom in there and just add a line there okay so the procedure will be the same for any kind of a symbol that you want to create i just want to demonstrate to you okay enter right click cancel then what you can do is to just click load into your project of course we have two projects okay so i'll load in project two remove that one click okay then i want to save this one okay then i can save it anywhere i'll just save it within here and i'll just call it a all right just like this then click on save right then you see that it's going to be loaded within this project as you can see this is project number two then you see that if i select on that click on edit type go back under the symbols there you see that i'll find that one click on apply okay you see that it's going to change like that so this is very simple to do if i have to go back to to, to a different one i just want to create a different one here i'll simply go to search and it's still there then click on next right here first cancel that one and select that right click and click on edit let's create a different one so we are here vg on your keyboard then annotation categories and activate the reference 
planes just like this then what i want to create is simply i'll just you know delete this one i just got to uh, line create then line then i'll pick that line there then i'll just create a quick one and add it there as you can see from here okay then what i'm going to do is to simply extend this line up to maybe somewhere here and extend this line up to somewhere here okay then i'll simply select that one and delete it and select the field region just by selecting and deleting on it now what you need to do you need to select that okay that is the tag and make sure that you drag it i want because i want it to align properly select on it drag it and place it right here make sure that you reduce the box like that and then increase it this side but you have to change the the alignment to left because you want it to be aligned here then going in that direction you can do the same for the other one okay drag that box up to here then hold your left mouse and simply maybe place it somewhere here then select on it and you want to align it on the left and just expand the box like that now the other thing is to just put the field region somewhere here you go to create okay then you have the field region click on it once you click on the field region go under the properties and pick solid black then here make sure that you just pick you can pick any of the tools here but i'll just use pick lines and pick that line that line and that line we are trying to create a boundary now the lines are overlapping so make sure that tr on your keyboard for trim as you can see from there then click that line that line we're just trimming the end okay on that corner then click on finish on the green check mark outside so you see that we have that one if i want i can move it down a bit so that it just looks neat when i load it within my project okay so select on that and you can edit it the way you want it to be so once you do that make sure that i'll go to file and click on save as a family then i'll call this one b all right so click on b then click on save i've saved it then i'll load it within my project this is project two then load it there and go to any of my elevation views i'll go to maybe south okay then if i select on that level click on edit type then you see that i can change to b click on apply okay you see that it's going to change like that so this is the simplest way of you know modifying you know these symbols for your levels you see that if i go to the other project the procedure is the same i don't want to go back maybe repeat the same things if i go to maybe the first project here okay uh, let me go to this one this is project one if i go back to this one click on edit type you see that you can also create something like this this is what i did okay so if i select on this i can go to maybe let me go to search you see how i just you know sketch within the environment there so the principle is for you to sketch it within there save it and load it within a project so you are going to create these things once then load them within your template and you use them over and over so i don't want to spend much of the time because i've demonstrated on how you can do this so make sure that you just follow the steps and see you in some upcoming tutorials